Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell, and man, do I have some good news for you guys. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys missed out before, so I want to make sure that we get it all out uh, in the open. We're also going to talk about Bayonetta 3. That's right, Bayonetta 3. I don't like doing any rumor videos, but this is uh, something that I think you guys should know a little bit about, so we don't go, you know, uh, holding our breath uh, for too long, okay? So let's get right into it. First off, let me get this out of the way so you guys can go right now and get it. I know a ton of you guys on Epic Games. I did a quick video because you guys know I don't release videos unless, right, unless there's uh, something to be made. So I released a quick video for you guys just to go into Epic Games and download, uh, a, uh, you know, your free version of Grand Theft Auto V and Unreal Tournament and all of that goodness. And I wanted you guys to get it. Uh, I did a second video about that as well. I released one also, I think, on Instagram. But I did a second video as well, uh, letting you guys know. Unfortunately, some of you guys missed it by a day. And I don't know if they're going to ever do it again, but they might. I mean, uh, Grand Theft Auto V is pretty cool uh, to get it for free. Any of you guys that waited on it, I personally beat the hell out of it already. Um, and, uh, you know, I do feel like I want to play it again. I actually feel like I want to play Watch Dogs again even. Uh, so I really enjoyed that over Watch Dogs too, of course. But that's just me. But um, so right now, uh, just so you guys know, I'm looking at Epic Games and they have a timer. And already one was released and now they're going to have another game released. And that's Civilization VI. Civilization VI is free right now for... For you guys to download. So please go out there. Get it right away. Don't waste any time. Go there. Get it. Download it. Uh, if you don't get... I, I know some of you guys are telling me that YouTube doesn't alert you. I have no idea why. I, I you know, I questioned other sites out there. They said they had no issues with that. And uh, for some reason our cha channel, even though you guys are hitting uh, the bell button, are not being alerted. So I do hope... That you guys could join me also on Instagram. I'm going to put a little thing there. Every time I do a video, I'll just write it down there and uh, uh, put it for you. Of any, you know, like last time I found a sale for, uh, you know, a SD card for your Nintendo Switch and all of that stuff. And, you know, some of you guys didn't get it. So luckily you went on Instagram and you caught it. So in the description, please look below. It's Vortex underscore cinema. <coughs> and you guys can find me there. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that it's out uh, that that you guys get a hold of this right away. I'm not sure what's going on. A lot of you guys uh, contacted YouTube and they told you it was because uh, we're not a big enough channel. We're we're getting there, you know. We're slowly but surely. But I know many that you know they uh, they're not a big channel and they don't have this issue. So don't know what's going on. Who knows? Maybe because I'm calling out uh, fake reviewers. Maybe something somebody got offended. I, I don't know. Something's happening there. But anyways. That's what I wanted you guys to know. So go out there and get yourself Civilization VI. It's free. There's nothing to lose. Even if you hate the game, you got it for free. Just have it in your library. You never know. One of your friends might like it and want to play it when he's coming over or something like that. It's free. Go ahead and get it. And then they have a countdown for, I think it was, I don't remember, I think it was five hours. I'm not sure. I think it, I'm going to look right here uh, and let you know right now. But uh, they said it in <laughs> five hours. My uh, dog is licking my feet. It's like killing me here uh but um yeah so let me just uh look really quick and also let me get out of the way while i'm uh, while i'm here uh we're gonna talk about uh bayonetta 3 and the fake rumors that surround it so first off guys um i know some people out there are spreading fake rumors telling you it's coming this year it's coming that you never know it might right but the thing is there's no evidence of this now i know they found a new system that they're trying to work with. Could be Unreal Engine 5, who the heck knows. I have a feeling, this is just a little hunch, I, I don't like doing videos to spread rumors, so this is not a rumor, this is my hunch, and I'm letting you know, I have a feeling this is gonna be a game that's probably gonna be either double released on the Switch or and Switch 2 or flat out just the Switch 2. I think that now they found out new ways to work uh, yeah, so uh, let me just get this out of the way. It says in five days, 20 hours, and 48 minutes, 
another mystery game will be unlocked. So just make um, make an account on Epic Games and just always stand by every week, look, every day, look, see what they're offering for free. They also have sales. This is the perfect time to do this. I, don't, I have no idea why uh, Nintendo Switch isn't doing it with some of their games. I, I doubt they will. But with some of the indie games, it would be cool to release uh, some freebies or at least demos for all the games. That would be really cool. And here's the thing that I don't get, and I'm going to tell you guys this right away. We're going to talk about this, but I don't understand why, in, I think it was 2018, they gave us about Bayonetta 3, some info. They show us a little trailer, and then they just release one and two as a package and just totally forgot about it. So I do love the fact that a lot of you guys are calling them out and uh, saying things on their Twitter feed or on any type of feed that they're on when you guys are actually calling them out and saying, did you, uh, did you cancel plans? Or they cancel plans. I like it when you guys do that because when you do, they're trying to you know still maintain their business and all that. So they're probably like, okay, we got to rush this thing out like ASAP. Uh, we got to answer. We got to do this. And you never know, you might get a leak here and there. But... Because they're using a new engine, I think just like if you guys remember Doom 2016 or Doom 3 even back in the day, when they found a new engine, they started working with it. When they found a new way to make the game, they totally scratched it and started all over again. This could be a possibility. Now, I contacted my friend in Nintendo of America, and you know how he always gives us all the information before anybody else does. Unfortunately, because it's more of a Nintendo of Japan type of thing... They don't know anything about this. They don't. There's no ETA. He has no idea. Uh, but he did say that there's a lot that they are starting development. That, uh, you know, uh, they're starting development with this new engine or something like that, and they're uh, working on it and they're trying to uh, redo a lot of the things. So most likely, what we're seeing here is a complete erasing of one uh, uh, of the game and to redo it all with this new engine. This would be cool. But then you have to ask yourself: Can my Nintendo Switch? handle this kind of engine can it handle the more beefed up uh you know graphics and stuff like that uh i have confidence that it can i but i'm just saying based on the way he said things i i, I don't know if it's going to be a double release like for a nintendo switch one or nintendo switch two whatever the hell they call it but it just looks to me that it would make sense if they're really wanting to go out with a bang to come out with uh, Bayonetta 3, and please don't hate me for saying this, uh, for the new uh, Switch, uh, that's a good way to sell the system. I think a lot of us are going to be ticked off, including myself, if they do that, uh, unless they do a double release, but you will see an obvious difference in the other one. I don't know what kind of system they're working with right now, but uh, you know the thing is, I do believe they really want to wow the hell out of us. And they really want to make this a showstopper. This is their answer to Devil May Cry. If you guys remember when I did the review for 1 and 2, uh, I told you guys, this is basically their answer to Devil May Cry. And I really love Devil May Cry. I, I think it's a pretty hard game to top. And I, I to be honest, I, I, I didn't believe they would be able to do this at all. And I was actually in total shock when I was playing... Uh, <laughs> that's, she's playing with my slippers. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I was kind of in shock when I saw Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2, and I was, just, I, I'm going to tell you, I was blown away. And I was kind of disappointed that, you know, they released 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch and didn't release Part 3. I think what they should have done is, like I said before in the review, they should have released a Part 3 and then have an option to get the Collector's Edition that gives you uh, Amiibo of her, which I have both of them as I did an unboxing for you. But I, you know, I thought that would be cool if they included that like they did with Mega Man or with Link uh, in the Zelda game. <clears throat> I really think it would have been so cool if they could have implemented that, uh, you know, and release uh, part three and then, you know, one and two if you buy the collector's edition with an Amiibo. That would have been so cool. Unfortunately, they didn't do that. They completely, you know, let us all down with one and two and, uh, you know, their bunch of remakes. And don't get me wrong. It's all good and all. I, uh, you know, I love it. I love to take it on the go with me. But really, that was a big letdown. And I said that before. And, it, it, you know, it, it, I just hope that they do release it for uh, the Nintendo Switch, uh, even if they plan to release it later on for the other system. I really don't care. But I think they owe us big time, especially right now 
when they came out with such a, such a crappy system in the beginning where it was bricking on people due to not using, uh, you know, you have to use their proprietary chargers. And I, and I did the investigation for you guys and I told you it was only people who had the day one release. A lot of people were turned off by Nintendo because of that. They were also, uh, you know, releasing games like WWE 2K18 and didn't even care to release something so crappy and horrible. All of these uh, ports that came that didn't run well at all and they were still somehow released. They owe us this. Uh, I don't. I, I'm not an entitled guy. I'm not a brat. But I just think they owe us that. Uh, I think that would be really cool. And I'm being hopeful that they would come out with that at some point. Especially when all of us fans are calling them and saying as a joke, "Oh, you guys canceled it. You canceled it." You know. So it's kind of cool to see that because you could see them answering back. You could see them that they're on the edge, and hopefully they'll release something. Now I don't want them to release something out of a rush. Because if they rush something out, odds are it's going to be crap. But a Nintendo product, you know all games that are released from the first party always comes out crispy clear. And now, you know, Bayonetta, it's one of their, you know, I'm going to say, even though Mario is the mascot. But I'm going to say one of their mascot, even though, you know, it's not exactly, you know, uh, whatever. They work, uh, you know, with other uh, productions and, you know, uh, producers and stuff like that. Still, I think they put a lot of uh, money behind this. I think they put a lot of faith behind this product, and I really hope that it comes out uh, very soon for all of us to enjoy. Anyways, that's all I got to say about this today. Go out there, get Civilization VI. Please, dear God, go out there and get it now. And make an account with Epic Games. Even if you don't like it, I, I would advise download, uh, having it in your library. But make an account with uh, Epic Games and see every week what new game they release. And just be up to date on that. Now, I'm going to put this on my Instagram to come and view this video because I don't want you guys missing out on free games, especially right now what we're going through. Being at home, playing these games are, you know, kind of for our sanity. It makes us feel better. Uh, I, I don't want any of you guys uh, missing out on it. I felt absolutely horrible that some of you guys didn't see the video that I posted and you didn't go and get it and, and then let me know that you missed it by couple days I missed it by a day and I do you know apologize about that it's not it's beyond my control this is you know what the, the platform is and I, I do apologize I love YouTube I always get all my information from there I don't know what's going on I have no idea but we are growing slowly but surely I'm we're just an independent channel you get it we don't take money to advertise uh, and t things and tell you something's good when it's not. That's the thing. So we're all independent here. And this is the people's channel. We all are here together. We're all giving the public better informed, you know, uh, better information to make better informed decisions. So we're doing this all together. So I don't go in advertising this. I wish I had the money to do that. I would. And I know a lot of you guys told me do Patreon, do all of that. But I rather you guys save that money. And buy the stuff that we review. You understand? I, I want you guys to be happy. I have three jobs. Believe me, I'm making this work. Uh, but uh, eventually we will um, advertise it more. Uh, do some stuff. I just need the extra moolah. And right now the situation we're all in is a bit, bit uh, straining. So eventually we will get there and we will grow as a community. And then people won't have to sift through so much nonsense. And, uh, you know, uh, would be able to get to our videos and get real information from we the people. Uh, and uh, like I said, the best way you guys could give back is by liking, subscribing, hitting that bell button, and share it with everybody you know. But most important, even over all of that, is comment. Because we need to help out the public, especially right now, the way things are going. Let's help the public make real, you know, better informed decisions so they don't spend money on nonsense that are not worth it because some paid for yuppie told them to do it. Okay, so... Let's just do it that way. Uh, we're all giving back to the community. That's And let's continue doing what we do. That's it. That's what we're doing here. So anyways, love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Enjoy your free game. I hope you guys get this. I really do. I'm going to feel absolutely horrible if you guys don't get this video. Uh, please let me know in the comment section. I know it's kind of cheesy to say this. That you got this video. <laughs> I know probably a lot of people are not going to do this or not going to get it. But... Or probably not even going to make it to this end right here. But um, I hope that you guys, uh, you know, get a hold of this. I don't want you missing out. I don't want your kids missing out on it. Uh, I know kids are, uh, you know, extremely restless right now in these days. And, you know, that, all of these games that you could get for it, you could possibly get it, uh, you know, um, for free. I mean, the games probably that are kid-friendly. So, anyways, let's get right uh, Let's. 
that's all I got to say about that. Love you guys. Let me know what you think. Have a good one, y'all. Take, take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I want, it, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.